I just want to call in to voice my utter and complete disgust for these supposed left of center commentators who get so much mileage sort of obsessively criticizing the trans movement and their activists like uh, Jesse Single and his weird little sidekick. Yep. And, you know, more broadly, the absolute bores who endlessly go on and on about wokeism and cancel culture while never addressing like the sheer psychopathy of the right wing um like Chiat, uh, Jonathan Chait, Chait. and uh, Iglesias and that crew, the popularists. Yeah, it's just a very bizarre set of people. And it's it's just very, the way that they operate, like their framework is very dishonest because they'll just use kind of like vague implications about the other side while never, you know, being specific. The, the I think know, that like there's those are different the, the the taxonomy of this is a little bit different like I think signal is like a uh has some I don't know exactly what what there's some there's something deeper going on there uh that this has become his sort of like beat and complete identity for years now um and but when you're talking about like the Chait and Iglesias types and the Nate Silver types and the popularists I think the 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 impetus is very similar to what we just saw with um, the press secretary mocking Marianne Williamson, which is mm. like it is I'm going to pick the most marginalized person around that I can find and sort of bully them in some way and create some distance so that it I am I am a appearing you know sort of like reasonable or cool i mean honestly like the to use these terms are sort of ridiculous but that's what's going on here like you know like i'm the rebel like there it, it is a reactionary mindset frankly um yeah and i'll sorry go ahead the reactionary mindset here is the idea of like i'm going against the trend but in fact what you're right. really doing is no you're just reinforcing the genuinely pre-existing or prior existing structures that have been here always but it's you're trying to make it you're repacking it like a, like i'm cool mm. i'm like I'm, I, I'm i'm daring i'm a rebel but in fact no you're not you're really just um you're just basically playing into the pre-existing bigotry that has existed yeah and i'll be honest with you i'm very anti-woke myself but i also have a sense of proportion so the overwhelming priority for me is to attack the right wing who's actually doing material harm to people and anything other than that, I think should be suspect. I, I agree with you. I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't know what it means to be anti woke, but I don't care right. ultimately like what, of course, what, you know, like, is in the heart of Jonathan Chait or uh, Matt Iglesias or like, you know, whether y you and I could have a difference as to like, how much we tolerate, you know, uh, a, a college student from Oberlin being upset about, uh, you know, the, right. the, the cultural appropriation of something. It's like, I, I, that's, it's irrelevant. It's really just a question if you're a pundit or you're uh, writing or you're even, you know, just going on Twitter and, uh, you know, using whatever platform you have, whether it's like, you know, 10 followers or uh, 10 million followers and doing it and, and espousing this stuff. It's really just like, what is the important fight to have here? And, you know, how much of like exactly. society goes through growing pains where there's no doubt in certain areas, you know, uh, there's, um, you know, sort of like a, uh, like a over, um, you know, uh, getting out uh, ahead of your skis a little bit, but society, like the, the the real thing that will happen with all this stuff is it will be overcorrected. Any any gains that any groups make in terms of like uh, emancipatory or in terms of like actual rights or social acceptance or whatever it is, any gains that are made and certainly any excesses, you can be sure there's going to be a uh, there's going to be a backlash that always always happens regardless of the tenor of these movements or the measuredness of these movements whatever there's always yeah, a backlash and after the michael knowles comment about eradicating transgenderism 
public life, I saw these people retreat to defending his right to say it, which no one was disputing. But that's all they have. They have, you know, pedantry, uh, you know, defending the right to say something that's indefensible on its merits. Exactly. It's really like who is contempt? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Who is the person out there? saying that Michael Knowles should be in jail. Who is the person out there saying that we're going to revoke his microphone? Who? No one. People are just criticizing him and saying that he's a piece of garbage because of what he's saying. And th you're absolutely right. The, laugh re the last refuge for these people who have no arguments is to pretend that somehow they're aggrieved because they're taking too much criticism for what they've said. Really appreciate the phone call. Yeah, and uh, just before I go, I just want to say I really appreciate you guys, how aggressive you've been in defending our trans brothers and sisters who really need our help. So thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, Snake Balloon, my understanding is that Singal was going to make Gamergate his thing, and then when that died down, he decided he was going to jump on the trans beat before it got too popular. Mm. I don't know if that's the case. I'll look into that. That'd be interesting.